Hi, my name is Tracy, and I'm the mother of three children. And like most of you who are parents, you can probably relate to how crazy and hectic and often chaotic this life stage is. And along the way, through all of the crazy moments of parenting, I'm also reminded consistently of my job as a parent and how I'm called to nurture, to educate, to empower my children. How part of my job is to create a healthy world for them to inherit. And oftentimes, I'm reminded also, because I'm a woman of faith, about the importance of offering these same protections to all children. And oftentimes, faith communities get very captured by the conversation of how many pregnancies are terminated every year in the United States. There's a sobering statistic that says that 1.2 million children are lost to terminated pregnancies every year in the United States. But one of the pieces we forget as people of faith are some of the other very shocking statistics that are out there. Namely the fact that currently 700,000 children every single year are born with dangerously high levels of mercury in their blood. 700,000 children means that one in six children are born with high levels of mercury in their blood. As a parent who wants to do everything she can to give our children the best start in life, this is scary. Women accumulate mercury poisoning by eating simple foods during their pregnancies, one of which is fish. And when I became pregnant, my doctor told me to make sure fish was part of my diet because of the omega-3 and the health benefits of eating fish. At the same time, this advice came with a stern warning. It said, don't eat fish more than once a week or you could potentially endanger your child. Every state in America has a mercury catch warning which means that many of the fish caught in the rivers and the lakes and the streams in those states have dangerous levels of mercury and are potentially unsafe to eat. Decades ago, my parents and my grandparents didn't have to worry about these sorts of things. Now it's shocking to me as a parent that I have to worry about eating something as simple as fish. Worry and concern seems to be a prerequisite of parenting. I've never met a parent who didn't worry about something that they wanted to happen in their child's life. But honestly, worrying about what fish we eat should not be something that we have to worry about. We as parents can do something about this, something very simple. You can log on to creationcare.org and check out the End Mercury Poisoning Pledge. It's a simple bit of action that you can take to tell your elected officials that this matters, that they can take action to keep the levels of mercury in our air and in our water safe enough for the developing hearts and minds of our children.